Hello, my name is Izudin Osman and welcome to our AutoCAD house modeling tutorial. So we'll be starting in drawing the floor plan layout. So I'm gonna draw this uh, 15,000 mm line. Alright, and this wall is measured 4,000. And over here is 4,000 also. This one also is 4,000. This is also 4 meter. Along with this wall. This wall is 5 meter, 5,000. So I can use my object snap track to complete this floor plan layout. So I'm just going to go to um, annotate to show the dimension of this floor plan. So this one is 15,000 mm. This one is 4,000. This one also is 4,000. This one is 4,000. This wall is 4,000 also. This wall also is 4,000. This one is 5,000, 5 meters. This wall is two meter and this wall is whereas this wall is eight meter in dimension so now I'm going to turn this particular floor plan into 3d structure so I'm just going to delete all the dimensions first. I'm going to digital trace this particular floor plan. Offset it to 200 mm. Um, I'm going to digital trace this part using a rectangle. And uh, I'm going to digital trace the rest and region of that. Okay, I'm going to change my workspace setting to 3D modeling, okay, in order for me to use all the 3D buttons uh, better and more efficient. So I'm going to go to Home, okay. As you can see, this is one. This one is 2D wireframe. So I'm going to change it to conceptual to see my regioning. I'm going to go to SE isometric view. I'm going to change back to 2D wireframe and extrude this particular structure into a three meter height. So I've got my three meter structure already. So now I'm creating for the roof. So I'm going to go back to the top view. I'm going to change back to 2D wireframe. I'm going to digital trace this particular structure using a polyline. I'm going to go back to SE isometric view. I'm going to move this polyline to ceiling height. So I got my polyline there. I'm going to offset this to 1000 mm. All right, I'm going to region up that. So if I go to 2D wireframe uh, and change it to conceptual, so I'm going to see something like that. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to uh, mark it as red in color. I'm going to extrude the particular roof by using the extrude command. So I'm just I'm gonna extrude it um, just maybe around one meter. Okay. As you can see that the roof is not going to the maximum height of its total taper angle, right? So I'm gonna solid edit that particular uh, face and choose move as my option 
choose one bass point and choose another bass point and there you go I have my roof ready already using AutoCAD 3D so now I'm going to build the window window section of this particular floor plan layout so this is my top view and this is my SE isometric view and I'm going to change it now to 2D wireframe mode so I'm going to mark reference line here from here going up is 2100 alright so I'm just going to 3D model a little bit so that line is measured 2100 so I'm just going to draw another line which measures this also 2100 this also is 2100 this also is 2100 all right so we're gonna actually draw the door uh, I mean the window opening for the wall structure starting with this particular wall so I'm gonna change back to conceptual I'm gonna type box now gonna draw slightly like that change the parameters and the properties so this one is the length is 1005 the width is 2000 as in the depth the height is 1005 also so I've got one box there and I'm just gonna draw a line here with a gap distance of 500 so when I go back to 2D wireframe, I may copy this to the other side. So I've got both together now. So I can eventually move this particular two boxes. I'm going to move this. And I'm going to make one reference line here. I'm going to move this. And here is my base point. I'm going to object track that inside. So when I go to conceptual, it's going to look something like that. And I'm going to subtract this no doubt about that in creating the wall so I got two in, uh, I mean in creating the window openings for that wall so I'm gonna create a French window here alright so I'm gonna create the box first and I'm gonna input the parameters and the properties so the length I may put around 2000 as in the depth of the box the width is, um, I'm going to take 3000. The height is longer than the window, the standard window is 1008. So there you go. And I'm going to move this one now. I'm going to go to 2D wireframe. Move it. Quickly object track it. Go back to conceptual. Subtract this. So subtracted that and that is a particular uh, a French window opening and I'm going to create another French window here so I'm going to draw one box again all right the length is the depth of course is around 2000 and the width is 4000 the height is the same with the previous one is 1008 and I'm gonna move this inside quickly move this particular box go here object track inside right just a little bit just a little bit more go back to conceptual so I got something like that subtract that so I got something like that you know if I want to go further inside so I may go further inside if I want to alright so I can uh, directly go to conceptual and make the length longer so I'm gonna make the length also 4000 uh, maybe not maybe 3000 and I'm gonna move this towards the end right Yeah, I think that's a, that is like uh, what I want, and uh, I'm gonna subtract this so I can cut more over that side. Okay, so I have larger opening there, so 
Okay, now I'm going to create a standard window here for the bedroom window. Um, so I'm going to create a box. Right click properties and I'll put the length is 2000. The the width is going to be um the width is going to be 3000 but the height is going to be 1005. 1005. All right, so I'm going to go to to the wireframe. I'm going to draw a reference line here. Um, 2100 I'm gonna move this box to this particular line object tracked it go back to conceptual didn't get it maybe I object tracked it wrongly so I'm gonna object tracked it again go back to conceptual subtract it yeah, still didn't get it. I guess my tracking line goes wrong just now. So I'm going to draw back my reference line. Okay, quickly draw the box again. Okay, select right click properties and quickly insert the length, which is the depth, the width, and the height of that window. So, and then you're gonna change back to 2D wireframe, quickly move it, quickly move it, object tracked it a little bit, just a little bit, and go back to conceptual, subtract it. Right, so I got my uh, bedroom window over here, my French window over here. Okay, this, this will be my, like my door opening, but I'm gonna draw like one reference line here. I'm gonna draw it here around 200 mm. I'm gonna quickly draw a box, right? Quickly draw a box like that. Right click properties and I'm gonna insert the length to be 2000, 2000 sorry. 900 is the width of a standard door, 2100 is the height of a standard door. Alright, then I go back to conceptual, so I got my door, I can slightly orbit it this way, go back to wireframe, move this particular door, go back to my reference, reference line, can't really get it right, object tracked it, oh my god, this line is so... goes inside and then I'm gonna change it to conceptual and I'm gonna subtract this yes, I got my door opening there so I'm gonna orbit this a little bit so there you go you can construct 3d house design really fast using AutoCAD just like I did in a matter of minutes so that concludes our tutorial for house design thank you very much